Welcome. My name is Daryl Morris. I'm with DBJ Fitness and today I'm going to kind of lead into part one of a three-part series regarding fat loss. And the series is called Fat Loss 101. Today's topic is making better choices. In today's world it seems like everyone wants to lose weight. But in reality the goal should be to lose fat. And losing fat isn't complicated. It only takes a few things. It takes a commitment to making better choices. It takes a technology that works and it takes a belief in yourself that you can do it. And I'll tackle each one of those topics separately, but for today's purpose, um, our, our, we're going we're gonna to tackle a, com a commitment to making better choices. So a commitment to making better choices is our number one priority. Every choice you make will lead, to, lead you down one of two paths. It will either lead, lead you down the path you're already on, which is the one where you are not, uh, you're carrying more fat or more weight than you want to. You know, every, every choice you make from eating to exercise to physical activity to lifestyle choices, all those choices lead to where you are right now. Or you can make better choices in life, and in which case you can begin to travel down the path that will lead you to a leaner, a sexier, a, a um, more attractive you. And attractiveness can be in a variety of things. It can be both physically attractive, mentally attractive. You know, it, it, is, it, is to, it is said that one that eats healthy and that takes care of themselves regularly often puts out a better vibe. And it seems to be a little bit more attractive to the, to the other species. So, or whatever you want to be. But in, in, nonetheless, by making better choices, you can improve where you are right now. And so better, making better choices isn't rocket science. It, in fact, uh, when I question clients in regards to what's better for them, more often than not, they make the right choice. So if I ask you what's healthier, a chocolate chip cookie or an orange, which one would you choose? If I asked you what's healthier, a green pepper or a Kit Kat bar? If I asked you what's better, a roast beef, a roast beef, sam a roast beef sandwich or a chicken wrap? Or what if I asked you uh, what is, what's healthier, a Big Mac or a Happy Meal? I'm willing to bet you're going to make the right cho choice every time. I know you have seen shows where they want to compare how many calories are in a donut versus how many calories are in an oversized bagel, but you know that that that's a choice you don't have to worry about, right? Because either one of those aren't healthy, so you can avoid that altogether. So again, we want to get down to what is when you're making choices, what's healthier for you. And so again, let's remember the question is, what is healthier for you? Not what do I like more? Because hey, given any any day I'm given. The situation on a certain day, instead of choosing that bell pepper, which I know is healthier for me, I might choose to have the Kit Kat bar. But I know what's better for me, and that's the choice. If I'm making better choices, I know what choice that I have to make. And so that leads us into this. It's been both. It's been my experience both professionally and as a uh, as a person, as an individual that also you know that wants to look a little bit better, that wants to keep an eye on his weight. Um, our our ability to be successful or to be a failure is really dependent on the permission that we give ourselves. Do we give ourselves permission to be successful or do we give ourselves permission to be a failure? And more often than not, I find as a society we give, our, we give ourselves permissions to fail more often than not. When, when you start a diet, now granted we'll get into the, the topics of a, a diet and nutrition and that a little bit later. That actually comes in the technology that works uh, section. But for now, if, if, you, if you are on a diet and you know what is healthy for you to eat and you opt to eat something not healthy, you've just given yourself permission to fail. And I think we need to have a, a change in mindset. We need to, to give ourselves permission to succeed. And so th with that in mind, when you, when you make your next meal, give yourself permission to make a choice that is going to lead you to where you want to be. And if that is losing a, a, a clothing size, you know, whether it be a dress size or a pant size, or it's toning up those arms, make the decision that's going to allow that to happen. Don't choose one that, that is going to put you on the path where you're not going to be happy with yourself or that choice. In my experience, I've also looked at hundreds of food journals. And do you realize that most, most of us eat the same meals from week to week? And in fact, if you're looking to change your eating behavior, you're not looking to change your eating behavior for 30 days. You are, in essence, looking to change a week's worth of meals, so seven days' worth of meals. And I would even break that down further and say that for the vast majority, breakfast, lunch, and the snacks are pretty similar. The only meal that really tends to vary is dinner. And that varies because 
we go out a little bit more often for dinner to a variety of different places or we just whip something up quickly at home but breakfast lunch and the snacks don't typically vary that much so in essence when we're talking about changing your eating behaviors or making better eating choices we're only looking at improving that decision for three to four meals and if you can do that you can see the physical change that you want and we'll touch a little bit on physical activity here too because part of making better choices includes being active and I'm not talking about working out. We'll get that again. That'll come in that sub topic under uh, technology that works. We'll combine both uh, the nutrition uh, and the exercise component in that in that category. And that'll be the next one. So please stay tuned for that. But you know, rather a commitment to being phys more physically active. And listen, I'm like you. If I get home and I don't feel like there's nothing that I want to do, and the key word being want to do, then I have a tendency to probably lay on the couch and watch TV as well. But when I kind of give my per per self permission to be active, you know, to, to do something, to maybe do something that I, I don't necessarily want to do, but say, you know what, it needs to get done, then I'm a lot more, I feel a lot better about myself and it, my, my choices build upon themselves. So when I make better choices in one aspect of my life, I'll make better choices in other aspects of my life. So, you know, for, for staying more physically active, it can be doing the simple things, you know, doing the simple chores around the house, you know, things like dusting, vacuuming, cleaning, uh, or the, maybe a little bit more enjoyable stuff like playing with the kids, um, taking a walk, cleaning your car. You know, I tend to, you know, I have a hobbies. I kind of like to work on cars. I also like to do carpentry and those type of things. So, you know, those are things that I, that I kind of enjoy doing. And oftentimes, if I don't give myself permission to do that, I kind of get lost and I get a little lazy. But also in terms of, you know, making healthy meals, learn to cook something, you know, make a new meal, enjoy a hobby, uh, learn something new. But by all means, avoid just becoming a lump on the couch. And I know it can be easy to do because I've been there. I've done it. Hell, during this past holiday season, I probably have done it a couple of days. But, you know, more if we can get a lot more accomplished if we just give ourselves permission to be successful. And so it never ceases to amaze me what we can, be, what we can accomplish when we give ourselves the opportunity to do so. And making better choices in and of itself is a choice. It gives you, in, it, pardon me, it is giving yourself permission to be successful. Step up, I'm sorry, set up your, your, step out of your comfort zone and make yourself proud of you. That's important. Be proud of what you see in the mirror. Be excited about what the day has to offer and commit to making better choices today. This is Daryl with DBJ Fitness talking about Fat Loss 101 and a commitment to making better choices. In our next, uh, in the next, in part two of this series, we're going to talk about a technology that works. Stick around and I'll talk to you soon.